Hi, have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. The user asking here how to send an auto reply outside the business hours and also on the weekends. So outside the business hours from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next day. Okay, so let's start building this flow. So for this, I'm going to uh, use the Outlook connector as my trigger. Okay, when a new email arrives. Okay, let's start building the flow then. So here I'm going to say in the subject filter, I'm going to uh, put a test now, a test demo. So you can specify, uh, you know, a particular uh, subject filter, or if there is no filter, it's going to, uh, you know, receive all the emails then. So for the demo purpose, I'm going to uh, set the subject filter here. The next step, I'm going to add a compose and uh, looking for a date here. So let's see what's the date we can get here. That's the received time. Yeah, received time. Okay, so next one, I'm going to save this flow. Save demo auto reply email okay save this flow so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to send an email which the subject contains test demo and see what we are going to get okay okay i just sent an email okay my flow ran successfully let's have a look at the run history so I'm in the UK time and it's night 11 o'clock. So as you can see here, it shows me the time in the UTC format here. So it's one hour behind the coordinated universal time. That's what it's showing here as, okay? So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert that time zone now. So to convert the time zone, use there is, there is an action step called convert time zone. Okay, for that, I'm going to use the received time. I can delete the compose action step now. Okay, the next step, I'm going to use the source time in this format. I'm going to use y, y. Before that, let's go down and set, enter the custom value. Okay, and uh, the source time is Oh, that's a format here, sorry. Okay, so so, so the source time is UTC. Uh, UTC coordinated universal time. So look for, coordinated universal, universal time, yeah. The destination time is London. That's my destination time. And the format I want, I want to send the custom value and enter Y, 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 then capital MM, DD, capital H, small MM, SS. Okay, let's save the flow. I'll, I'll tell you later why I, I am doing in this format. Okay. Let's resubmit this again. So that means it's going to run with the same, uh, you know, the last run history. Okay. So I can see now, uh, you know, the uh, it's Y, 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 and 03 is the March and the day 31st, then 2306. So it's kind of, you know, it's I send my email around that time, 2306 and 44 is my second. So we got that now. The next step we need to find here is the day of the week. So to find the day of the week, I'm going to add another compose here. 
and um, I'm going to rename this to day of the week okay and under the expression I'm going to say day of the week of a timestamp so that is UTC now means is today's date so today's date what's the day of the week place the cursor here and click OK right so to set the expressions you need to click the expression type day of the week UTC two brackets bracket close and then click OK okay run the flow again and see what's going to happen here so I'm going to utilize the you know the test flow uh, feature so that means I can run using the last run again so that means I don't need to send another email to trigger my flow okay flow ran successfully so day of the week is 4 okay let's have a look what 4 means so that means 1 2 3 4 so Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, Wednesday is 3, Thursday is 4, then 5 Friday, 6 Saturday, and 7 is Sunday. Okay, so 4 means, you know, it's a it's it's a normal week weekday it is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, if it's up to 5 means, you know, it's a normal weekday it is. Okay, let's go back. And next is we need to add a decision okay so here we are going to check the day of the week output is is less than six so that means um, you know um, I mentioned earlier uh, Monday one two three four five so six and seven we don't need to do anything then so that means it's a you know it's it's a weekend uh, day then uh, we, weekend day so uh, you know uh, we can say an alert or a send email or send email as an uh, as a um, no reply email so you can send an email using this feature here like outlook connector send an email and uh, you know put your message you know um, auto reply text and who who you want to send to so that is might be coming from the the previous the uh, f this address here uh, from the trigger address so that is to you want to send it to uh, let me take the dynamic options there okay so uh, to set that um, you need to click on that dynamic content so you can see here and uh, the from and the two there see that so that's from address we want and in the reply here also I'm going to say in that subject I'm going to say auto reply so here it is so that's this works for the uh, weekend one but or uh, if it is s that means here we need to find whether uh, you know whether it's a um, business hours or um, it's um, out of business hours okay so to do that uh, we need to do a little bit more work here so the first thing is um, I'm going to look uh, I'm going to look the received time we got here is it the convert day of the week received time so we got the received time um, that's a format we got and um, the next thing we need to do here is find the business from date and the business to date um, of the out of the hours okay so for that I'm going to add another compost here okay before I do it I'm going to run my flow again so I'm again using the test capabilities of the flow oh there's an error here let's see what's error let's save this again okay that's okay now right flow ran successfully so you can see here it's converted to you know that, that's a format I got right so the next step I'm going to do here is a combos again and in the combos I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the received uh, date time
Okay, so I added a compose and uh, first thing I'm going to rename this to received time. Received date time. And here I'm going to use the format date time expression again. So place the cursor here, click on the expression and type format date time. Let me minimize that so it makes more sense. Yeah. Click on the expression, then format date time. And under the dynamic content, uh, go to the, you know, the trigger when a new email arrives. That has got the received date time there. Just click on the see more. You should be able to see here the received time. Here it is. And under that, we I'm going to use again that same format, which I said earlier. comma two single quotes y y y y m m d d h h m m s s i'll put this form uh, the expression under my video description okay that's done right what's next then so this so this format this is the format i'm going to convert oh that didn't update today right? Yes. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, another compose again. And uh, here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rename the compose statement to business from date time. Again, expression, format, date, time. So my business uh, f uh, time is, f the business from date time will be uh, the business hours I started today. So that means my, the format, date, time, UTC now, comma, um, again here, Y, 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 capital M, M, D, D. So what time my business starts? That's 9 o'clock. So that's 0, 09, then 0, 0 hours, then second. Uh, sorry, then minutes. So that's 0, 9, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0. Yeah. So that is H, H, M, M, S, S. Yeah, that's right. So H, H, M, M, S, S. Yeah. Our minute and seconds here. Okay, that. So that's done. Um, let's uh, copy this. I'll use another feature here. I'll show you another feature of Power Automate. Copy my clipboard view, then add another action. Go to my clipboard. So you can see that's copied here. So if you want to copy the similar kind of a, you know action step, you can utilize this feature. So here, I, you know, I just copied it and rename that to uh, business uh, today. So that means how long my business is running for a day then is it? So my 9 o'clock uh, till 18. Here we go, 18 that. So that means 18, 0, 0, 0, 0. Yep, update that. Okay, that's updated. So now we got the received date and time. Now we got the from date and time from, uh, you know, with the date, today's date in that format. Y, 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 M, M, D, D, 0, 9 hours, then up to 18. Right. Now, we got all the parameters we got. The final thing what we need to do here is we need to just add a condition again. So, you can add a condition here, another condition. And in that condition, I'm going to say my received time, this one. So, the first condition here is the output of my received uh, time so where is that search for output yep so output received date time see that okay see outputs received date time 
e is greater than or equal to e is greater than or equal to uh, my from date so business from date see that business from date and then I'm going to use an AND operator here so add a, another row and again use the same um, you know received date time to compare because we need to compare uh, is within following that hours yeah so um, that's again use the output and as you can see here receive date time is less than or equal to that's what we want now less than or equal to okay the business to date okay that's the first one is a business from date this is a business to date output so the this, this is the first one this is the second one we are comparing here yeah against the received date time okay so that means so this means if I do a compose now here and add an action step so I'm going to just add here call that means we are under the business hours as means and I'm going to add another compose here compose action step so this means we are outside business hours so let's run the flow and see whether that's going to work or not so again we're utilizing the test feature again and running the flow okay flow ran successfully let's see so now it's you know it's night 11 o'clock so let's see what we got so we can see here the condition comes uh, comes back as a business day um, and uh, then we got the received date and time which is that and um, the from date we got see the format with nine o'clock starting with the today's date 31st of march 2022 and my business to date is again 31st march 18 uh, sorry 31st march um, uh, till 18 that is my business to date my business hours so you can see why i am using that format so that easily we can compare using like a numeric value then and uh, now uh, here it's said here that means it's outside business hours see that's is true outside business hours i am so you know if it's falling between that means you know i am good then that, that's what it says okay now uh, let's edit the flow so you can see that's business servers that's outside business servers so in the outside business servers again you can use uh, you know um, outlook connector here and uh, send an email place the cursor here and click add dynamic content and look for the from address of the trigger so that's the email we need to reply back to and then in the subject we can say auto reply or something here and in the body you know the relevant test you can say uh, this is out of business hours or something and i'm just going to put auto reply here so that's basically it is so this is a way you can uh, you know set the find the business um, out of office hours using flow so I'll put all these in the all the expressions which I used here in my video description and hope uh, this is a very useful one. Thank you very much.